Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to your March love reading. So we are going to get started. Actually, let me pause that for a second. Sorry, guys. I had to just pause that for a second. So, uh, sorry, I'm going to just do this one more time. Just fix the camera there. All right. So welcome. And we're going to get started with you, Virgo. So we're going to take a look. I'm sorry if the sun shines in. <laughs> My drape is not working. I ain't got no man to fix it. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I am a girly girl like that. Not like I don't know how to do flooring and do woodworking. I've done that. I love that stuff too. But sometimes you just need a man to fix your drapes when you're five foot three. You know what I mean? All right. Let's take a look. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you're new, welcome, guys. I'm getting back into Zodiac reading. So I would love to hear what you think of these for March. This is, we're going to look at your love interest or your love life coming in March. Remember, this is general, so take, only take what resonates. If you would like to coach with me and work with me, you can email me. All my info is down below. This is for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and your North Node, guys. Look at your North. North Node is very important. Okay, mind, heart space action space and outcome okay Virgo you're taking a little break right now I feel like you've been putting in some really hard work okay we've got go the distance yeah I think you've been working pretty hard here you've been going through some chaos for sure wow spirit is really saying come to the edge all right so listen uh I just did Capricorn they had come to the edge sometimes if you don't um look at all your signs to get the best uh, result, you know, uh, for, so you can put the pieces together because these are general. But also, if if you met, hear something and I say go check out Capricorn, you don't have Capricorn in a chart. Um, I am going to call out some of the synchronicities here that they may mean something for you. So just go check it out, all right? And if you get drawn to any other videos on my channel, just click them and go to them and listen to it because that's your intuition, you know, that's telling you so. Let's take a look here. What is going on with Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus Spirit for March time frame? Thank you. What is going on for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and North Node? Thank you for all those that watch. So Spirit is really saying you've had a hard go at it. You're, you're really coming to the edge to open up to something brand new. You're still dealing with a lot of chaos. So you're really taking some a break. From everything you've had you've gone through the run here Virgo you've been really going the distance here we have the six of wands here you're coming to a place of victory though which is really beautiful we have the chariot in reverse the ace of swords in reverse the four of pentacles in reverse six of wands clarified by the four of cups chariot clarified by the high priestess three of pentacles and the three of wands all right I'm gonna pull some more of these and I'll tell you what I get as I'm shuffling so, Virgo, what I'm getting here is like when you, Spirit's asking you to open your mind a little bit more, come to the edge. Uh, you're in a place of complacency, but you can actually win this, okay? The six, uh, victory and success is yours. This is usually a card of coming out of battle, coming out of the dark night of the soul, and coming home victorious. So, Spirit needs you to... You know, you're sitting in this place of apathy right now, but Spirit really wants you to kind of open up a little bit more. Okay, Virgo? So let's take a look what else here for Virgo. Yeah, so you're just waiting. So Spirit is beckoning you to come to the edge. This is a nine, so you're nearing a completion of something. It's almost like, you know, when you, you're, <laughs> this is what I mean. You know that you're about to go somewhere. This is the feeling that I'm getting, you know. It's like when you're a kid, you know you're about to go somewhere really exciting. Or you know there's a new adventure and you're a little bit afraid and you've never been there before and you're just kind of scared but you're excited and you're nervous and it's the unknown but it's like you're sitting there and it's taking forever and then you get just really anxious about it. That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting here for you Virgo that you're like okay like I know it's going to be amazing but I'm super scared I'm super nervous and then you're just getting yourself in this head place that's leading to this complacency so Let's take a look at the heart space because you're you're stuck now. The mind is overworked, so you're stuck here, Virgo. And it's hiding things of how to move forward. This chaos and conflict in your heart has really imprisoned you and created a lot of mental conflict. Could be also physical health issues too, okay? So this stagnant energy and complacency is really, um, in March, really pushing you to open up more. 
there is a new path that's here that's waiting for you, okay? Things are going to be hidden, so you're not going to know how to move forward in the heart yet until you really make this decision to move forward. So right now, I feel you're very tired. March might be a time to just rest and contemplate and to really try and figure out how to work on communication, how to bring the truth out, how to reveal yourself more, how to express yourself more. Um, that might help you in love as well. I find sometimes Virgos need to like, you know, have a contract of love and know everything. <clears throat> okay, this person is, uh, are they sending smiling emojis? Is this, oh, is this, you know, all the dating things, the, the rights, the checklist, the wrongs and all of that in spirit is saying, um, this trying to work on this and trying to look at how to speak this truth and taking this break they want you to also realize that it's yeah there's a message of concern from spirit here they don't want you to get caught up in this you know um energy of comfort here the privileged lady is really about you know she she doesn't really know good hard work not to say that you haven't worked virgo i'm not saying that at all i believe you have worked hard on uh, your earth your earth sign as well so I'm not doubting that, but what it is is that you may have a level of comfort that you've gotten, that you know that once you communicate clearly, a new contract will be coming forward here. Um, and if you're watching this for somebody, it's like you're almost maybe waiting for communication and you know that when this person communicates, it's like go time. It's like work time. So there's this like lull period that I'm feeling here with you, Virgo, that it's almost like you know this is happening in the mind stuff like you know but you're kind of like mm. <laughs> you're okay with it it's like complacent with it it's kind of like it ain't that bad i can wait another day i can wait another week and then it turns into another month right spirit is saying here for you to go the distance to open up and but you're waiting <laughs> this is for your family though this is to bring in a um, closer tie here there's a new i feel there's a new love vibration that's coming give me another card on that spirit that there's a new love vibration yeah there's a mature woman here knowing that there's a closeness and a family that's coming here so spirit really wants you to open up here let go of things um because this this four four of pentacles is also about being in alignment right you're when your mind and your heart is aligned you can manifest anything so that's another aspect it's like as you're letting go and you're opening up here spirit is really asking you like as you move forward this is another waiting card waiting energy waiting um where are we here four of cups you're waiting you're waiting expectation um you're in prison it's creating this whole conflict and it's like it always seems worse fear always seems worse than than in the head than it ever actually is if you just take the leap of faith and so this waiting spirit is saying is causing you to come out of alignment with all of the hard work that you have been going through just to get to this point in having a very close connection with somebody so spirit is bringing that up let's take a look um yeah let's clarify first we'll do this one a little bit different i'm feeling the clarify so let's take a look at what is this complacency in this waiting spirit is asking virgo to come to the edge a little bit more yeah we have the it's blocking this connection between a king of swords and a queen of cups okay so this could be water or air signs, but it's also um, not communicating and really blocking a lot of emotions. It's keeping things very stagnant. So spirit is wanting to come to the edge and open the heart a little bit, Virgo, for love. Look, your wishes are about to come true. We got to get out of the head. We got to get out of the head a little bit more, okay? So there is victory here. Spirit just wants you to get out of this waiting energy to open up to something even if it's a new vibration it could be even a new person it might not even be the person that you think but whatever is happening there is a wish that's coming that you've been asking okay and for some it may manifest differently than what you expected spirit is saying here that where you've been stuck wow divine masculine energy look at that is hiding and stuck and is imprisoned and going through a lot of chaos you may be feeling this and spirit wants you to uh yeah realize that where things have been stuck are going to untrap themselves with your masculine energy here and um this is really beautiful this is like wherever you've had doubt i feel the truth is going to come out it's been stuck and there hasn't been a renewal but there's an a, a, an entrapment that's ending <laughs> the devil okay so there's there's still some toxicity here but it's um i feel it's an oh 
it's the toxicity is key. It, they're untrapping themselves very slowly. Let's put it that way. Very slowly. Let's clarify this eight of swords in reverse. Yeah, they may be untrapping themselves from a queen of swords in reverse here, which is karmic energy. Yeah, ending conflict tower, closing off the past with somebody. So this is the untrapment that's happening. But the doubt and the stuck energy and not being able to move forward is still because someone's still very imprisoned and very unhealthy right now. So Virgo, however this resonates, if this is you or this is your person, they're unable to offer anything right now because they're just in the midst of breaking something. Um, but it's also to realize not to get stuck in this waiting energy either. Okay. So let's take a look at this truth. Um, that it's just a, it's like a lull period and a break right now is what I'm getting to heal. So some energies can settle and move yet yeah, move into this beautiful energy of the nine of pentacles and let your guard down that you've been abandoned. It's fair to say this is not something that's been abandoned. This is for you to gain. A new contract is coming once the truth is spoken. Okay, you're resting. Take a break from here because this energy of being in, um, you know, a message of concern. It's fair to say that this is keeping um, things very stagnant. There are things that I'm getting that you may not also know, Virgo, that's happening with privileged people and other things that are happening um, contract-wise. Your contract is intact and it's coming, but it's like the, it's not until that truth is spoken. Um, so you got just let your guard down that this isn't an abandonment issue. Let's clarify the Five of Pentacles. You may have to focus on money a little bit more, Virgo, this month. Yeah, move through these abandonment issues very quickly because I feel once you do, somebody will be coming forward. Yeah, your dreams here. Move towards your dreams and let that guard down so that it opens up into the new vibration. No more waiting. Um... This person that you're asking about is real. There's a huge awakening happening here. So spirit wants you to go the distance here. Open up. Get closer with family. Um, yeah. Find your balance. Find your patience. Okay. Um, let go of things. Let go of regret. Don't focus on this. So I'm really getting for Virgo. It's about time to like open up and let go of the... Um, it's a surrendering energy and where you're putting your focus, okay? Let's take a look a little bit deeper. We're going to look at the karmic energies as well. Let's see what is going on in love here for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and North Node, please. Spirit is saying just try and change your focus here and just really realize that you, whatever this person is going through and the emotions, I feel like it's a very strong telepathic connection. It's like, don't feed into it. They've got to do their own work here, okay? Let's take a look at Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus, and the North Node, please. What is this waiting energy and coming to the edge? Come to the edge, Virgo. Hey, okay, come to your intuition and trust. Yeah, this is about a, it could be a breakup, um, stopping a pattern though. This is what I was talking about. You've got to stop the pattern to take off this mask here, Virgo, so that things can come, because I, that's what I was feeling, that there was a loop here. It's keeping you trapped here and in prison and not in a good space. You've got to make really healthy choices for your abundance now. This is not about, you know, somebody else or um and this is about you virgo really and truly because your abundance is just a, a a choice away here um spirit is saying that as you move through it yeah the runner is having an awakening so your person here okay who may have ran away from this connection whoever the runner is this is you know we have the tower here with another uh, lightning card here so this person is having a massive awakening and doing some deep shadow work you've got to keep moving um on okay virgo um to keep moving into the new vibration and to find a deeper patience here of what's happening yeah put an end so a new beginning you've got to end the old vibration that you've been in and stop the loop yourself and heal look at that time take a nap right it's right here and healing again in march don't focus on this so much, okay, so that things can start coming together. All right, let's take a look, because I feel like things are wanting to come together on both ends, um, but let's take a look and see what is going on with the karmic energies for you. So that is, yeah, let's take a look at the karmic energies. 
And then we're going to do a pick a card right at the end. So if you're liking this so far, don't forget to hit that like button now. That really helps me out. Thank you so much for your support. And watch to the end. We're going to do the pick a card. Remember, you can pick three questions, yes or no, or you can pick just one and choose the card that you desire. But let's take a look at Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus, and North Node. What is going on with Virgos in March in regards to any karmic energies that they are dealing with? All right, we're getting three right off the bat, so we'll take it. All right, thinking. Thinking again, Virgo. Wow, go the distance again. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, I'm just going to see what time we're at for this reading. Okay, perfect. We're only at 15. All right, so this is what I'm getting here, Virgo. There's a lot of serendipitous karmic energies that are um, pushing you to really go the distance. But when you action things, what I'm getting is like it actually ends up being... Um, <laughs> left out okay remember that you can manifest all kinds of things with different partners so whoever you're thinking of and i'm not going to label it you know your connection the best but whatever is going on in the karmic energies even if it seems serendipitous you go that it forces you to go the distance you always seem to end up in this orphaned abandoned state Spirit says they want you to recognize that loop. This is part of the karma that's happening in March, and this is putting you in thinking mode. It's actually keeping you very stuck. Spirit says that you've got to recognize what this serendipitous energy is. Remember, darkness can mimic light. Just because something is synchronistic doesn't mean that it was sent from spirit. There are also dark energies that can mimic synchronistic events and mimic uh, those synchronicities where we think it's from spirit. And I'm not saying this to scare you, Virgo, but I feel there's a discernment aspect that's happening in your energy in March that you're starting to gain a different understanding of energy. Because as I was seeing it from the first part of the read, you're in this mind loop, but you're starting to recognize it. There's an awakening happening. If it's happening with your person who's a divine masculine, it's happening for you as well, or vice versa. Remember, take it as it resonates. Okay, let's take a look here. This is karmic energy with serendipity. What is this? Poverty consciousness, see? There's something synchronistically happening with lack mentality here for you, Virgo, in the month of March. So pay attention. Go the distance here, Virgo, okay, in your heart. And I feel like you keep going the distance in, karmically with this energy, but the karma is pushing you even harder. There's that privileged lady again about a house. So this is about home and family and you know, not putting in the brunt work. And it may be that you or your person is putting in like brunt work with someone who's very privileged, who <laughs> doesn't really put in hard work. Like, like, okay. And when I say hard work, you guys, I'm not saying that, oh, I went to college, university, and I got a job and I work in, you know, a bank or I work in like an office job or I work in a cushy prize, a project manager, or I work, it's not that, right? And, and I'm not saying that that's bad or anything okay but i'm talking about brunt work whereas you know you could still be that bank manager you could still be that project manager but you had a hard ass life to get to that position you know what i'm saying but there are people that are privileged that just put in a little bit of work and they think that's hard work because that's all the work they've ever done and then all of a sudden they just want everything with the house they want everything so this is some kind of karmic loop that you're going through Virgo, that you're noticing the lack, even though there may be some like synchronicities, you're like, but then I always end up orphan and you're maybe dealing with someone who's privileged. It could be you. Remember, take it as a resonance, it's a general reading. It could be you or it could be your person. Okay. Who's dealing with a privileged person or who is a privileged person. Okay. Wow. This is like, look at this. You're being orphaned you're being stolen from your money and all the hard work. So there's something about coin that's happening here with your own abundance that you feel that maybe somebody is stealing from you. Could be stealing your person away from you, stealing your abundance, stealing your path, stealing your calling. Now, nothing that is ever right for you will never, ever be stolen from you. But you've got to get out of this loop place, okay, Virgo? And to realize that if you play in these energies, you just feed it more fire. So let's take a look at thinking. You're thinking about a high honor here. Yeah, you may be thinking of a high honor here and mm -hmm. 
you're thinking about a, a connection here is what I'm getting. And you may be feeling this person is waking up or you're waking up, but you have concern for this person. I feel, again, like I was saying, there's a telepathic. There's something happening and you're picking up on this person's energy. And it's a little disturbing. Um, you may want to message them, but um, you may also get a message from this person. Um, but they may not be in the greatest space. I'm going to say that right now, okay? It doesn't feel like they're in the greatest of spaces. So let's take a look here. I'm seeing a massive cycle that's currently ending in March. It's a mind pattern that I feel is a very difficult one to break, that the majority of mass consciousness are still in it. So I feel it's very difficult to recognize. That's what I'm getting here for you, Virgo. Let's take a look. What else is going on for Virgo in love for March, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? Poverty con. Yeah, this is about putting an end to this karmic energy. So you're ready, Virgo, to like no second chances. I feel like you've been running in this loop a very stinking long time. I think you're really done with it, with this karmic energies. I feel whatever you keep going the distance and putting it in, you're dealing with somebody who's privileged. You're seeing things very clearly. Truth is being revealed to you. You're talking, you're trying to maybe in um, a relationship is evolving to the next stage. You're interested in conversation, move, awaited message. Yes, yeah, so you may be talking to somebody. You may be awaiting a message from somebody or you may be thinking of talking and texting. There's thinking of, there's a sword here too, of a, a sword here in the sword of truth here with the truth and clarity, but there, the sword and the rose. But there's definitely something with communication, either coming or going in regards to a connection here that is of a high honor. But there's something here um, I keep seeing this, like both people are really stuck in some kind of loop is really what I'm getting. And if your person is with a karmic energy, they're stuck in the loop. If you're with a karmic person, you're stuck in the loop. If you're both with karmic people, you're stuck in a loop. Or even if you're both single, but in separation, you're stuck in a loop. If you're single, you're stuck in a loop. That's why your person's not coming. That's why that person's not showing up. Spirit is saying you're going over and over and over, over and over. But it, the only way that you're noticing is things are being like, feels like it's being stolen from you. You may have money loss. You may have like partnership loss. You may have friend loss. So Spirit is saying something in regards to this is, yeah, to push you into closing old energies and moving into a higher place of commitment here, enhancing your relationships in your life. So this is a huge cycle that's closing out for you, Virgo, of knowing your worth as well. Yeah, see, you may get a love call. You may be, con this person may be concerned for you if you've been going through a transition or um, they may be going through a transition. However it is, you, there's definitely communication that's coming in. Okay. Somebody is ending this karmic energy. <laughs> this karmic energy is done, Virgo. If that's you or the other person, this karmic cycle is coming to a close, Okay. There's not going to be a second chance. This is in the back. This is a final end deal. It's like, I'm done, done, done. Like, really done, Virgo. Okay? So, let's see what, what is going on for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node for Virgo. For March. Thank you. This is the Karmic Energies. Let's take a look. We have the Fool. Yeah, see, look, endings and new beginnings. Nine of Wands reverse. Three of Cups. Look at that. We had the Three of Cups in reverse. I think it was, yeah, you guys. And friendships ending. And then, now you're getting new friends as you move into a new vibration. Injustice, okay? The Fool is with the Nine of Cups in reverse. Nine of Wands is with Strength. Knight of Swords with the Three of Cups and the Ten of Wands. So, yeah, you're done with the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is a, is okay, but that's not complacent energy. You're really looking for something new. So I feel like you may just be cleaning up the rest of the energies here, Virgo, coming out. We got a, nine, a King of Cups coming through. Nice old Divine Masculine ending pain. Okay, we have two Nines, end of a cycle coming very much so. Whoever is your King of Cups is definitely coming out of pain, ending old cycles for a brand new beginning. Karmic energies are definitely ending for this new beginning. Really beautiful. So whatever you're feeling in that complacency, there's definitely communication and things that are coming in, Virgo. Let's take a look at the heart space. Holding strength and letting the guard down, Virgo, coming in March. A lot of energy being um, released here. Yeah, the moon. So the moon is about all in your feels and your intuition. 
whatever in emotional instabilities that are coming up with your fears, you're going to face them head on. You're not going to, um, you're going to block the energies that, that aren't good for you, but you're going to see of how these energies are moving you. You're gaining clarity now, right? You're seeing the truth of certain situations. You also know what energies are privileged energies, energies that don't want to like put in the hard work. People that just want to take from you that thief card, right? People that want to use you. You're like over that. And you're building your foundation. And here we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So I'm getting here like you're getting over a lot of these fears from old energy. Holding your strength as you really start to choose and discern how you're going to move forward here. And so you're not letting the karmic... Yeah, you're walking away from anything that doesn't serve you. Very strong, Virgo. Very good. Very good. So you're moving into an enhancement, a reunion, communication, moving on away from old poverty consciousness, working so friggin' hard, you know, abandonment issues, and moving towards this abundance that you may have thought... You know that your someone took your abundance. You're moving out of that way of thinking, and there's definitely an investment coming here. Okay, wow! Look at this. Wherever you've been blocked, Virgo, you're not focusing on that where things were in the past, and maybe you were blocked or all of that, the mental conflict, fighting, whatever that was, or you know. The Page of Swords upright is it's not just like um you know I'm sp I'm spying on you but it's also like a I'm like a um I have some communication that's not the nicest communication that's kind of like eh, like a mean girl kind of thing it's like, if that ever happened that kind of sarcastic communication that's um not focusing on that and really moving towards real friendships and investing in relationships that are going to elevate you yeah because the truth was um suppressed here. So again, that truth is not quite coming out yet, but there is alignment coming. See, the renewal is not quite here yet, but there is an alignment that's happening here with the karmic energies, okay? The burden of the injustice is happening for this divine masculine here. Really gaining clarity may call you out of concern, okay? Wanting a union here, four of wands, coming close to the finish line. So karmic energies are definitely coming to an end. Wanting to debate, juggle back and forth, communicate about this union. All right? Things have failed in this person's life. All right? Or your life where you're seeing this clearly now and being like, yeah, I'm ready to do something new. All right. That's a karmic energy. Let's take a look at yes or no. I'm going to choose three cards. So however that is for you, you can ask, uh, think of your questions now, either one per card or um, you can just choose which card and ask one question. All right. So I'm going to shuffle now. Yes or no. I'm only going to take upright. So this is four, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus, and North Node. Thank you. This is for Virgo. Virgo. Come on with Virgo, please. Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. Thank you, Spirit. What is going on with Virgo? All right. Card number one. Card number two, and card number three. All right, whoops, I turned that over. <laughs> Don't wanna do that. Okay, card number one, I'm only reading an upright because these are yes and no. All right. Three of wands, so we're in the waiting. You're waiting for your ships to come in. Spirit is saying yes, but you're gonna have to be patient. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it's coming, what you want is coming. All right, and it may not be in the form that you think, but it's the energy that's coming towards you. So be sure that when you're looking out of your ships, it's not necessarily, you know, maybe the canoe you were looking for it might be a big ass ship, you know. So just realize it may not come in the way that you are thinking, but it's a yes, but there is patience that's needed. Okay, group one. Pile number two, yes, we have, that's a definite yes. We have the Empress. Yes, 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 pure abundance. It's coming for you. Hell yes, your abundance. That is a yes. And pile number three, 
we have two of wands moving forward. So it's a contemplation. You're, you have the opportunity, but you're not sure about it. So Spirit is saying it can go either way. It's kind of one of those decisions that if you don't choose, something else will pop up that it will give you more focus. Or if you do choose, then, you know, um, it's still going to get you refocused. Anyways, this is a refocusing uh, uh question so either way it's it's okay you can contemplate it and choose which one you feel suits best but neither one is right or wrong it's kind of a you're going to get refocused and learn on each way anyway so it's not a yes or a no if that makes sense all right okay virgos don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon bye